Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, and you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh, in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offering you sought not, then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is, with it, is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here, Here I am, Lord, Lord I, I come, come to do your will. A reading from the letter of the, to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offerings you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In Holocaust and sin, sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as it is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings. You neither desire nor delight in him. These, offering, these are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, also has conceived a son in her old age. 
And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. This feast day is that great moment when the Blessed Mother was given the incredible news that she would bring into the world the Savior, Jesus Christ, this great announcement of good news. You know, Mary, for all of us, is the one who announces Jesus and brings us our Lord constantly. Today, in this Feast of the Annunciation, it might be a great time to dust off our Blessed Mother statues, dust off our, our devotions to the Blessed Mother, and reevaluate or look once again to her protection in our life. You know, what can we do to be dedicated to Mary? Can we put our brown scapular back on? Wear the miraculous medal? Maybe uh, place our images or our statues of the Blessed Mother in a profound, more profound way uh, within our homes. Make them more available. Maybe even tell other people about the glories and the power of Mary in our own lives and that she desires to share their power with their families also. See, Mary is this great gift that all of us share to be our mother, to be close to us, and to be our protector. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess from baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. For Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Archbishop, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, that we can have an increased devotion to the Blessed Mother, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Archbishop Ryan, our faculty, staff, students, and alumni, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for the deceased, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake. By the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about, and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we praise one with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who had died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The 
body press. Body press. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may through the saving power of his resurrection merit to obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks Thanks to be to God. God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke and be humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.